Hello and welcome to our video, The A to Z Guide to Acne Scars, Get Clear Skin Today. You can read the references for these studies in the blog post for this article. Go to thestreetlighttherapy.com slash acne scar guide link is in the description. Acne scars are a common problem that can affect anyone who has experienced acne. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about acne scars, from their emotional impact to their causes, treatment options, and much more. Acne scars are a common problem that can cause emotional distress and affect your self-esteem. However, with the right knowledge and treatment, they can be minimized or even eliminated altogether. Atrophic and hypertrophic acne scars can cause profound social anxiety, leading to shame, embarrassment, and low self-esteem. It is crucial to understand that anything that improves skin health can also improve the patient's physical and mental health. Severe acne is more likely to cause scarring, but mild acne is dangerous too. Depending on the type of scar, the skin can show pitting, depressions, and raised areas. Studies show that there's a 95% chance of scarring with acne. Skin type and the person's ethnicity do not affect the scores, but skin color does have a bearing on scarring. Darker skinned people are more likely to scar from acne. Ignoring acne only raises the chance of acquiring scars. Plus, scars can get worse over time, meaning the social anxiety they cause gets worse too. The longer a scar exists, the more resistant they become to treatment. Acne scars can be a source of embarrassment, shame, and social isolation. Acne scar intervention and treatment can prevent further scarring. The two types of acne that cause scars are inflammatory and non-inflammatory acne. Inflammatory acne is a common cause of acne scarring. Cytokines and chemokines attack where collagen forms, creating scar tissue. Incomplete collagen causes atrophic and hypertrophic scars. Atrophic scars are depressed and pitted, while hypertrophic scars are thick and raised. Inflammatory acne occurs when hair follicles become clogged with oil and dead skin cells. The immune response releases inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. These immune cells attack collagen and form scar tissue. Non-inflammatory acne also causes scarring when oil and cells clog hair follicles. Non-inflammatory acne causes pigmentation deposits that look like scars. One treatment option is chemical peels. This involves applying acid to exfoliate and peel away the outer layer of skin, stimulating collagen formation, and improving texture. Chemical peels have been shown to be effective in reducing the surface area of acne scars, and patient satisfaction is high. Another option is microdermabrasion, which removes the top layer of skin to reduce the appearance of acne scars. This non-invasive treatment stimulates cell growth and collagen production, and while it's generally effective for shallow acne marks and pigmentation, it may not be as effective on deep acne scars. Patient satisfaction with microdermabrasion is generally positive, but individual results may vary. Microneedling is another minimally invasive procedure that can help reduce the appearance of acne scars. It involves using a device with tiny needles to puncture the skin, stimulating natural healing processes and promoting collagen and elastin production. Patients report a high degree of satisfaction with microneedling for acne scar reduction. Laser therapy delivers targeted light to create microchannels in the skin. These channels stimulate collagen production. Collagen improves skin firmness and reduces scar appearance. Punch excision is a minor surgical procedure useful for reducing the size and depth of boxcar and ice pick scars. Photobiomodulation PBM, also known as low-level light therapy, is a non-invasive treatment that uses light energy to promote healing and reduce inflammation in the skin. The dermatologist uses a circular blade to cut out the scars. He or she then stitches the area or repairs it with a skin graft. Photobiomodulation PBM, also known as low-level light therapy LLLT, and red light therapy RLT, is a non-invasive treatment that uses light energy to promote healing and reduce inflammation in the skin. PBM stimulates the production of collagen and elastin. It also opens blood vessels, allowing oxygen and nutrition to help repair damaged skin. 
PBM triggers the production of biological batteries called adenosine triphosphate, ATP. The body uses the ATP molecules as energy carriers. Skin repair requires energy that ATP provides. One study found that PBM improved the appearance of acne scars by reducing redness, inflammation, and scar depth. Patient satisfaction is high, according to studies of people with acne scars who used photobiomodulation. https://bestreadlighttherapy.com/acne scar guide